I'm probably gonna design the worst tank of all time today, and the sad thing is, I don't even mean to. This is Arms Trade Tycoon Tanks. It's our job to basically make tanks for different nations, specifically during World War I. I'm gonna name our company Pain, because when you see our tank, that's what you're gonna feel. So here we have Europe, just before the start of the Great War. I believe we can go to multiple empires at this time and sell them our tanks if we want. The British Empire, for instance, is a lucrative consumer, so we might want to sell them some tanks. Also, the first adopt of tanks in army ranks. But well, because of this, they're going to be a little bit picky. They have a lot of trade agreements with a lot of the world. Is that the flag of Liberia? No, I don't think so. Oh, wait, it is. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm surprised by that. Obviously, we have an imperialized Africa. Of course, during World War I, not the results after World War I. So Germany still has some colonies here. What month did it technically begin? Because is this saying it's the 7th, the July 1st? Oh, wow, so it's happening in 28 days. So our job is basically to design, build, set the crew up, uh, put it into testing, do every single part of the supply chain until it gets sent to the battlefield. And this game looks extremely complicated, so I am kind of scared about that. Here is our research tree. I'm going to say who cares about structure. We're going to go ahead and immediately start researching better firepower. I'm going to go with this AP MK1 ammunition. Yeah, start that. Now, because this is like when some of the very first tanks are being built, um, I think our, our tanks are going to be looking a little bit strange. You know, we're not going to be making like some crazy Panzer Fives, obviously. Not yet, at least. We have no rival tanks, but when we do have rival tanks, we can steal them and, like, uh, what's that word? Reverse engineer them. Yeah, that's right. That would be cool. What's interesting to think about is do we do, like, American strats where they're, like, solid tanks, but we can make a lot of them, or, like, Soviet strats where we just make a lot of them? <laughs> Here's our production line. Of course, we're gonna need a bunch of resources to be able to do that. Like, every single aspect is accounted for here. Greetings! My name is Douglas, and I have been appointed as your advisor. Good. I, I'm gonna need it. The British wants to raise at least four tank regiments right now. Oh man, we could have role-played as Volkswagen or something. Or Mitsubishi. Like, you know, there's so many companies that make cars now that were originally making military stuff. Okay, so we're gonna go with a very simple design. Whatever we pretty much start off with base in the game. Throw a six-cylinder on that bad boy. Also, a uh, centipede, because you need that. The tracks. We can go with an armored plate or a male sponson. This looks way more epic, but I don't, are we gonna be able to make that? Okay, let's just make that. Do we do it on both sides now? Both sides? for this? I, I mean, okay. I don't know what the logistical, we're gonna get the data to tell us exactly if that was a bad idea or a good idea. Yeah, let's throw some guns on that thing. Both sides, because why not? We could do just like a steel back or we could uh, throw a third gun in the back. Alright, well, that is certainly something. Now we need to make sure that we have the designed crew members, like enough crew members for each spot. As you can see from here, they're gonna need, we need at least over half to be able to make the tank even function in the first place. So that that is enough for as just one commander. We only need one driver. Now we're gonna need some gunners, some gunners, cause there's three, but then we need a loader as well. So we need two loaders and then at least two mechanics to make it technically function. I could throw another mechanic in there and that would make it a really good, we'll see, it's gonna obviously assist the driver and control secondary components. Maybe throw three mechanics on there cause this thing looks like it's about to bust immediately. We can throw expendables on there, which I only have like a couple of things, standard ammo kit and petrol gas. Last thing, we don't want this thing to be blue. I don't think I, I think I messed this up. Shouldn't our paint job depend on like where we're sending the tank in? Like if we're sending it to Africa, shouldn't it have, you know, like more Saharan vibes? If we're going into like the Belgian forest, it should be like this. I want to make mine deserty. Maybe the, de actually, why would I do it? Whatever, we're going to do it like that. All right, so this bad boy is being made right now. It's going to take 35 days. I also have 50 engineers and total almost 250 workers in my company that are helping me out here. So we want to expand at some point point with that. World news, more tanks required. Following the early success of tanks on the battlefield, the high command is ready to form additional tank regiments. Okay, well first take a look at my tank first. I don't know if you want more of mine. You might really regret that. Anyway, let's keep an eye on available resources. If we build too many tanks that are, is taking up, you know, we just need all the resources out there. Oh, we might have to make some like messed up tanks because we don't have any more resources. You know what I mean? We gotta make plastic tanks. We're running out of metal. So eventually the actual production line, it'll hit here and then we have to mass produce these things. I wonder if I made my crew too big. So they're 12% done. I don't know. I just thought three mechanics looked cool. It gave me a green number. So I'm like, okay, 12 out of 10. Now, a big problem with World War One tanks was mobility, right? So maybe going down this part of the tech tree would be, maybe give us a little bit of an advantage. So of course we have to think about rival companies. And that's like the thing. We need to find rival companies, see what they're doing, and then design our tanks to be able to beat their tanks. So maybe a company selling to Germany that has really fast tanks, but they're not very strong. Maybe we can build stronger 
100 more defensive tanks. I don't know. We'll see. Don't forget to invest in new component and modifications. But don't worry, bro. I'm already on that. I'm already on that. And we currently only have enough space to store 50 tanks at the moment. That doesn't seem like that much. Apparently, France had roughly 5,800 tanks during the Great War at that time. Over the course of four years, though, that's not that much. And only 400 of them were French medium tanks. Oh, man. I forget what these World War One tanks look like. Yeah, they were wonky. This was a weird time. World War One was a strange time where humanity was still kind of figuring out things and how the new warfare was going to play out. What was that one tank that was just like a giant toaster? Maybe we could do something like that. We should increase our production capacity in order to be ready to mass produce our tanks. So we're trying to build a subtle uh, assembly line so far. So government office, a subtle uh, assembly line. Do we need all of this? Retooling line. I don't know what we need, need, but I guess I'll just get the top three. Don't we have to first build our first tank? I mean, I guess we already have the schematics down. As the war begins, nations struggle to send supplies to the front lines. Uh, machine gun nests become a significant problem. Britain has already entered into talks to apply the potential of a caterpillar tracks to the battlefield. Enough money? Okay, we've got 1.3 million monies. We obviously don't want to run out of monies. Ergonomics office. These things are just going to help me uh, get through certain focuses a little bit more. The buildings like in like strategy games. I, I can I see that kind of. I want to keep blowing my money like this. Hold on. Let's let's wait. So basically to start off with like to improve our whole, we're just going to have to be able to do better research, uh, which we have a, a while to go. We have a lot of things to research and then we'll be able to replace certain components, make things more efficient. I think that's kind of the idea. Here's all the things for my medium hole at some point. Fuel storage uh, eventually. We put a nuke on one of our tanks. Nuclear powered tanks. Why didn't I think of that? So we have multiple buildings being pr produced. Your company's reputation is increasing as a result. Uh, the new top executive has offered his services and is now available to hire at the administrative building. Oh, nice. I noticed that we didn't have any administrators. Very nice. Don't forget to visit the engineering bureau to oversee in person the creation of new tank components from the blueprints. I am aware of that, I believe. So yeah, we can individually make some of these units better, the weaponry, of course. I want to get some results back, though. Oh, yeah, the tracks. Like, I want to know how my tank is doing on the field first, which we're about to finish our first tank in two days, one day. There we go. Okay, now we just got to produce these bad... The Mark 1, Mark 1. Dang, this is like the Alpha, Alpha 1. All right, let's start making this bad boy. Start crunching these things out. We're going to make like 50. Okay, maybe not 50. How about I make 10? Wait, should we make 10? We don't even know how this thing's going to do. All right, well, we're making 10. We're making 10 for now. We'll see if there's any unlucky country that wants to buy these things. I think we made them pretty good, as long as they supply the bodies. Have you ever tried driving your own tank? If you haven't already, go to the test drive. All right, let's see how this thing goes. Let's take my Mark 1, Mark 1. can actually drive our tanks. Oh, I can. Yo, this is tight. Oh, let's go. Hey, this feels pretty good. Well, it can't turn that good. It's very slow. Like, when it stops, it takes a minute to get it going again. I pressed that, like, three seconds ago, and now it's just barely... Let's see if we can make it over this trench. Are we big enough to go over trenches? Let's go. Wait, can I fire the weapons? Well, I can only shoot from the sides, huh? That's right. I didn't put I didn't put a gun on the top. Oh, I did. I did put a gun in the front. We should have put a gun in the back. What do we got up in here? Do I have all my engineers? Oh, I can change weapons like that. Now I've got the two, and this is how I can shoot uh, forward. Am I being timed? Oh, crap. I'm being timed. All right. Easy enough. We are racing. I've got 500 uh, bullets. Give me something to shoot, please. Let's, let's look at that. Let's look how fast this thing's going. Ooh, good 20 miles an hour. And okay, now we're going to go over this jump. Oh, let's see if we can shoot that. Did I miss? Am I not supposed to shoot that? Uh, it's like a machine gun. Okay, well, whatever. Okay, let's see if we can even make it up this hill. See, I might have made this thing too fat. I'm thinking, like, are the weight-wise? Because they probably didn't want the player to build something so uh, big at first. Don't really know why I did that. I just thought it'd be fun. Oh, we should be able to just drive through these fences, right? If I'm going fast enough, it should be able to bust through. Oh, okay, never mind. We'll see how the maneuverability is on this bad boy. We're just gonna make a little shift here. Oh, gotta turn that corner. Oh, look at that turn radius. Oh, you're welcome. The designers over at Payne really know how to make turn radius is nice and clean. Oh, here's a tank I can shoot. Bam, killed that thing. Blow up, blow up. It's like a GTA game where like as soon as I step into you, oh wow, well, it should have blown up. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to be firing on more targets. See something in the upper right hand corner. Oh, we've got a bunch of targets. Oh good, this is the perfect time to use my side firing. The front gun is a one, is like not a machine gun. Oh, it takes a while for this to reload and it only has like one shot. Oh, I should have just turned this bad boy around and used my machine gun. There we go. Oh, that's way easier. Okay, screw my side guns. I shouldn't even put... Okay, if I knew that, I wouldn't have designed this tank to even have side guns. I wish I knew the tank lingo a little bit better. Who's gonna be the first person to link my tank schematics onto the War Thunder forums? Can't wait for that to happen, even though it's 1914. Okay, I have to gain uh, more points in the next five minutes. And I'm getting points just by going through some of the objectives. And then obviously once I fire... Yeah, I'm only gonna use the machine gun at the front. Oh man, our accuracy sucks. This is like th four dudes just standing there 
we can't kill him. Why can't I just run into him? Oh my goodness. Why am I missing? Why am I missing? Thank you. Now where do we go? Oh crap. I gotta turn this thing around. Oh man, I love that turn radius though. <laughs> if I'm a country, like if I'm like King George right now, why would I buy this? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Actually, this does look pretty epic. If I've never seen a tank before, I'd be like, whoa, yeah, we want that. But we're already running out of fuel. I mean, we've been driving for like five minutes, but we're about at a half a tank. Right, good thing I gave us that extra fuel modification. We said that to shoot. There we go. I'll use this weapon. Bam. That was easy. Oh crap, I gotta use this again. First tank, uh, mission complete. I did not get three. Uh, exceptional performance. Oh, okay. Oh, I already got 300 po points. That was easy. Yo, that was tight. Even though I basically built like a slightly default tank, just slightly upgraded, that felt good. Of course, that's the Mark 1, and as we continue to uh, develop our tanks more and more, uh, we'll be able to put them in this museum, and we'll see them out here, and we'll be able to test drive them as well. Obviously, just like the Panzer in World War II, like the, you know, the 2, 3, Panzer 4, 5, 6, we're gonna continue to upgrade it throughout the years as we research more and more. I wish there was a way to tell me when research is, I don't feel like it's notifying me, oh, I, maybe it's because the research is not done yet. Well, it is about a couple weeks into the war, have the borders changed at all? External politics, of course, Germany's only allied to Austria, Hungary, Turkey, and Bulgaria. There are currently no adopted tanks in the uh, German core just yet, but give them, a, give them a second. They're still learning the ways of war. They're gonna want some of these pain company uh, tanks. According to trustworthy sources, the William Foster Company has just completed a new design of the Vanguard tank. Okay, that's our competitor. So who's gonna allow us to capture that and give it to us. I guess whatever country invests in our tank manufacturing first. Okay, so it does tell me when research is complete. So like if we start selling heavily to the French, the French have more incentive to give me the enemy's companies if the Germans are buying that company, then they'll let me reverse engineer it. We can take out a loan if we need to. I'm gonna hire this William dude. It's arriving in five days. Okay, get over here. We can fire him now, but uh, we're not gonna do that. Okay, so William has arrived. He's now managing some stuff for me. What parts have I, what new parts have I researched that I can switch out for better parts? Parts. Oh, maybe here. So I can begin to already design a Mark II, but we don't really want to do that. You probably want to do that as little as possible because like right now my supply chain is set up to build the Mark 1-1. So if we switch that, we, we don't want to continue to switch it out. Breakthrough uh, Bureau, a new fact faculty building, okay? The British Army is enacting a study of tractor design. Didn't we already know about this? First tank contract was announced. Remember to submit your bid before the deadline. I'm the... Okay, let's go check this out. Okay, so the British want to possibly take they might want uh, some tanks. I mean, I guess. I don't think we have had any other offers for their battalion here. All right, we're gonna take that. We're just waiting for review. I didn't adjust these prices at all. I just gave them the default stuff, like all these stats that we have. So obviously these are gonna probably improve as the years go on. They need 20 to equip one battalion already designed. Okay, so we need to make a lot more than 10. Who cares about safety stations? No, 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 we don't care about that. A naval freight, can we build battleships one day? Let me head on over to the production line. Uh, What's happening? Defects. Defects? Holy Holy crap, we got a bunch of tank flaws. This tank sucks. <laughs> I mean, I guess all tanks are gonna have some defects. So we're gonna make 10 more, because I think we need 20 to fill in a British battalion. Dicted balance. We are about a million dollars. Contract offer accepted by the British. Oh man, I forgot that they had to accept it first. We almost built all these tanks and they might have fired me. We have to deliver one, uh, we have to deliver 20 tanks in a short order to equip the one battalion. And we have so far one tank. <laughs> oh, we got two now. We have new re resources that just arrived. Okay, three, okay. We're gonna make it to 20, I think. Now, if I build certain buildings, will we increase that? I'm assuming that we will. Okay, new faculty buildings, some things going good, I guess. Yeah, we're building buildings. We've got more of these coming. I wanna know where our tank headquarters is. Isn't that like an important aspect of it all? Like maybe we already are in the UK, but imagine like our headquarters is in the United States. We're dealing with so much logistics that I think that would have to be a part of the game, like getting the tanks to where they need to go. If we're an American company, I'm thinking about World War II, we get a send it across the Atlantic. How are you gonna do that? How are you gonna pay for that, where are you gonna go? We we're also supplying, at least in World War II, we're talking World War One in this game, but in World War II, we were helping out the Soviets, so getting our stuff over to them was kind of a difficulty. I wonder if things will also stray away from actual World War One. Like, will Switzerland go into war? World War One, the Netherlands were um, neutral. Maybe they will also possibly. I mean, they'll probably buy takes from me, even if they're not involved in the war. They do have a trade agreement with UK and Romania. It is now September. We're building like one tank every like two days or something like that. Nice, even more buildings being built. I hope that these buildings were not for nothing. I hope that they're useful. Maybe I would have, I think I might have built them a little bit too early. We still have plenty of monies, I think. Wow, a lot of things are going to workers and then material purchase we are losing. Is that every month? Oh, predicted balance. Okay, so I don't think I want to build much more just because I don't know. Okay, production complete on 10 Mark 10, so we need 20. So this supply line, once this supply, wait, how long are they giving us? How long did the British give us? According to trustworthy sources, the Metropolitan Carriage and Wagon has just completed a new design. Okay, so we have another competitor coming. 
company. Odysseus Mark 1. Wow, that does sound way cooler than pain. I want to increase my firepower. I don't really know. Yeah, let's just get this because that sounds fun. Okay, let's build 10 more. Although our supply lines, we were building supply lines. We're, we're just going to stick with this Mark 1 for the first year, right? I don't think we're going to want to do too many upgrades, not until we get way more research done. New tank reveal. According to trustworthy sources, uh, there is a rationalized tank, codename, whatever. That sounds like a German company. The Germans might have had. Okay, so we need to steal that German tank and reverse engineer it. I think we'll be able to unlock research faster. I think that way, probably. More resources have arrived. Yeah, when I go to the British Empire, I can see my tanks right here. They have adopted us. Nobody else has adopted. French, this colonial dude has uh, made an official statement. Victory will belong to the first nation to be able to put a 75 millimeter gun onto all terrain vehicle. Uh, I don't know what you're saying. I don't speak French. I can ignore that. Another new tank was just revealed. Okay, so how many competitors do we have so far? I feel like in terms of tank production, World War One must have been just the Wild West. Like, everyone was trying to build their own weird tanks. So we probably will have, like, I don't know, a dozen competitors. I don't know exactly. Okay, so we have the 20 tanks. Uh, here, Britain, take those. We must purchase more raw materials. This will be... Do we need to purchase? I already built the 20. I mean, I guess, but you can technically store 100 tanks. According to the trustworthy sources, uh, completed a new design. Don't care. Let's keep researching. So the French dude said we need a 75 millimeter on an all-terrain tank. Wait, I don't even see where that is. I mean, I'll keep going down this tech tree and see what we can find. All-terrain. That means we probably need all this in the technology screen, too. Man, we just run out of cash fast. Building maintenance. Oh, all those buildings that I built might be too much. Okay, we need to send... Oh, logistics. Oh, you do have to send that stuff out to the customer. That's cool. Customer's always right. Okay, so I'm gonna send all 20 to the British Empire. Um, I gotta choose the right company. Dude, if we have to send our tanks across the Atlantic and then, like, a freaking German submarine comes and blows it up, imagine that. I don't think we have to worry about that in World War One. I'm just saying. It'd be funny. Okay, I'm just gonna sign this basic one. It's not gonna cost too, too much. Please show me the route. I, I wish that they, maybe there is a way to see the route. What route do they have to take to get to the exit? I mean, the front lines are technically here in continental Europe. They might not even be going technically to London. Yo, we better be paid bank for this because uh, we're running out of money. I mean, I guess I could take out a loan, but I don't want to do that. And our tank delivery has officially, the tr contract has been completed. Hopefully I deliver all tanks. I'm pretty sure I delivered all tanks as promised. Okay, so we've got some more resources. Who else wants us? Pay me. Yeah, look at, oh man, I've got some money for that. Okay, I'm back up to a million. We're doing a little bit better now. Now, pay me. Let's sell some to the Germans now. I don't care. We're going to play both sides, so we always come out on top. I think we should probably not just sit here and do nothing. You know what I'm saying? Because the contract will roll in. Eventually, another contract will roll in. We probably want to continue to produce tanks in the background, keep them in the warehouse, because right now I have a capacity of 100. going to keep doing 10 at a time, continuing to get 10 resources at a time. Meanwhile, I'm just going to make 20 tanks. We'll just start again. If 20 is required for a battalion, then more than likely the next contract is going to be probably more than 20, but at least 20. I kind of don't want to just work with the British. I do hope hope that someone else purchases our tanks. We're going to trust where these sources, the FCM has just completed a new design. Okay, don't care. I'm also really curious how my tank is going to do against the other people's tanks on the battlefield. Can we get data about that? What if my tanks are just getting blown out of the water? Kane company goes out of business because then the British won't want me anymore. We need to start selling to the Portuguese or something. I just spend 25000 for logistics. Wow. We need to expand our production to hire some additional workers in the administrative building. How many do we need? How about 10 more? Is that okay? These workers are costing me a lot of money. Brand has ushered in uh, a monumentous chapter in its military. Groundbreaking armored training reflects France. Okay, so maybe France will be the next person that wants some uh, some of these Mark Mark 1s. Let's definitely get like a better hull. I, I like that idea because that would definitely justify um, another upgrade for a better better tank. We've got a supply line with Oceania. They're coming from Australia. We're still building a couple of tanks even though maybe that was a bad idea to build the tanks before we have a contract set out. We're going to find out and that might come and backfire. We could sell it to some like random island right in the Pacific. You want some 20 tanks? Djibouti? That is not an island in the Pacific, I'm just saying. A new alliance has been signed. The British Empire and Serbia have officially ratified an alliance. So this is pretty typical. You, wait, is that Germany there? What? Wait, did World War One not technically start yet? Or an alliance? The British have France, uh, Italy, and Serbia. I don't know if there's technically World War One that started, even though it is 1915. Because we do have 20 tanks built. I'm not going to build any more than that for now. German Empire and France have signed a comprehensive uh, a trade agreement. Yeah, I don't think there is a war happening yet. We finished the medium hole. Very nice. I'm gonna go with a bit more thickness with the uh, the, uh, I don't know what these things are. The side things. The side things that I threw up on there. Okay, here we go. We have another possible contract. Oh, good. And I already have 20. Oh, to fill two. Okay, we need to build 40 then. New offensive has begun. Keep an eye on progress in the military campaign. Okay, let's see about that. I am very curious about that. Oh, there's a war. Oh, yeah. This is, I love that this is doing like alt history. There's a war actually between, it looks like Belgium and the United Kingdom. Why did you get yourself involved?
involved in that. So they are finally taking my tanks into the battlefield. We'll see how they do against the Belgians, funny enough. We better destroy them. Did I accept that contract yet? Well, either way, I'm going to make sure that we have enough supplies for four... Wait, what? One or more of the request resources exceeds our... Oh, wow. So we have to do this slowly. Slowly with time. Okay, contract center. I will take that success score. Our application was declined. Oh, I have to throw something in there, I think. Okay. <laughs> they won't let me just magically produce 40 imaginary tanks? Why would they decline that? Okay, let's see if they accept it. I guess we're about to see because they're sending our tanks on the battlefield. The campaign uh, is now underway. The Ottoman Empire and Greece are now uh, at war. It would appear you have mastered the fundamentals and no longer need to require my... Uh, are you sure about that? I don't know about that exactly, but we're gonna see. So did they accept my contract? Contract deadline, uh, May 15th, 19... Okay, so we have time for that since I have already 20 tanks. Can we start logistically uh, giving them to them right now? Okay, you can take 20 tanks immediately. Ah, uh, see, there is a safety thing now that there will... Oh, that's so cool. Safety's high here, so they could blow up the tanks when they're on transport. That's awesome. Well, Rochelle company worked out well for me last time. I'll go ahead and just use them again. <laughs> you can see why that would backfire. Wow, there's so many different little aspects of this game. Uh, I need to make sure that I have at least 20 more tanks. In, I mean, I have the materials, I believe, for 10 more. We want 20 completely. Do I have the materials for that yet? I don't know. Maybe. So there's two wars. Again, Greece and Turkey. I don't have any tanks there, so I don't really care what happens here. Oh, they're using horses. Screw horses. What is this? The 1800s? Uh, so far the campaign is... I don't really know how it's going. The pain, Mark 1, Mark 1. With 20. I, th I guess none of my tanks have been blown up yet by the Belgians. That's good news, I suppose. A massive weapon has been tested by the Tsar. The gigantic Tsar tank seems to be the use of three gigantic wheels. Uh, what the hell? Don't put that stuff in my mind right now. I don't need that. I don't need that stress. The entire section of the front lines have been turned into a hellish landscape by constant artillery fire and it is clear uh, that there is a site of a major assault by the Ottomans. Okay, I don't care. My tanks aren't in there. Okay, we finished research. We have not been doing too much with mobility. Do we have the 20 tanks left? No, we still need... We still have 41 days left. So I'll go ahead and... Oh yeah, we do need to do a little bit more mobility. Ability, improved high pass running. I guess so. So we're fighting, I guess, because we're only contracted by the British, we should consider where they're throwing our tanks at and then design accordingly. You know what I mean? Like, but I don't really know where they're fighting. They could be fighting the Belgians in the Congo for as much as we know. I don't really want to think about the Belgians deserve to be fought in the Congo. Oh, it says right here. So landscape is hilly, infrastructure is roads. There, it's urbanized. No, it's rural, and then intensity is extreme. Hmm. So we should consider all that in their fight against the Belgians. I mean, I'm not gonna design a tank right right now, but for future reference, when we design the Mark II Mark II, you gotta keep that stuff in mind, because we're not working the French or the Germans. All these new tanks that are being revealed all over the place, this is crazy. Okay, we and we just completed our second contract with the British, as promised. We're back to making some money. We built that pretty fast, too. That took like 10 days, because we were ready for that. Military campaign is between the German Empire and France has started. Very nice. Hey, France! Let's go, France! Ask me for something. Where are the contracts? I just want to see how this world is gonna fight. There's three wars going on, so everyone's gonna take a side, I think. I don't really know what side they're going to be taking, but yeah, here it is. This is probably the beginning of World War One. The Greece and Ottoman Empire, that has concluded and uh, it looks like the Ottomans won that. Do you see the reflection of that in the, oh yeah, here's the, where the war is actually happening. But where are we fighting the Belgians at? It must be in Africa then. Oh yeah, here it is. Oh no, that's French and German troops fighting. It is in the Congo! No way! That's hilarious, but also not. Oh yeah, it's right here. I literally just missed over it. Wow! That's cool. Kind of. Oh, so the war between the Ottomans and the Greeks are are actually still going, and now it's just moving into different provinces, possibly. Belgium seizing the battle. Belgium beat the British? Oh, crap. Oh, crap. We're not getting any more contract work. It's over for us. How do they win? Anyways, this is a really cool game. If you want to see more, please subscribe. I'll see you next time. And thank you to the patrons. You can go to the link in the description down below to patreon.com to support me. John, Green Denver, Jack, Jack Craven's annoying I friend. can't sleep without Drew's voice. Inquisitors, Henrik, Frederick, Dublin, Drew, it's your dad back with the Dub, beautiful Look, Megan, Carmel S, Amateur Archaeology, the Hear this, the I Mexican love you. Luxembourg lover. Tamron and Zany Boy. 